So Republican Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy is going around making speeches about how our national debt is too high and the problem is only getting worse. He's been saying enough is enough. Stop playing partisan games, Mr. President. Defaulting on our debt is not an option. And I have to tell you, I mean, Republican behavior irritates me a lot, but this speech is really getting under my skin. I'm completely exhausted having one of our two major political parties function entirely on lies and deception. The third in line to the president just stood in front of the nation and in all performative sincerity acted as if this economic crisis we're fighting is not one entirely of his own making. Of course defaulting on our debt shouldn't be an option. Not paying our bills would make America the deadbeats of the world. It would trash our credit rating, the stock market, the job market, and the value of the American dollar, all while putting millions of people into immediate financial crisis. It would also be completely unnecessary because the person who could stop it from happening is Kevin, the very man on TV complaining about it. It's Kevin and the Republicans who are refusing to join the Democrats to raise the debt ceiling to pay our bills. The same debt ceiling Kevin and the Republicans had zero problem raising three times during Trump's presidency. The bills we owe are non-negotiable. The money's already been spent. Kevin and the Republicans were there when we passed the budget that said we were going to spend it. You don't negotiate the price after you've eaten the meal. You pay your tab. So cut the crap, Kevin. You're not suddenly so distressed about how much money America owes. It was the Republicans who increased the deficit by almost $8 trillion in the four years Trump was in office. That's trillion with a T. In fact, 25% of America's entire debt came from those four years, in part credited to the permanent tax cuts Republicans gave to America's ultra-rich and corporations. You want to save money, Kevin? Maybe stop giving it away to the people who need it the least. Now, if Republicans are sincere about lowering the debt, why don't they tell us how they plan to do that? Because President Biden and the Democrats put their budget proposal out almost two months ago. But the Republicans have yet to put out a single page of their budget. This isn't a both sides thing. You can't negotiate if one side says, we want X, and the other side says, nothing. You've said nothing. Where is your budget, dude? You want to talk about what we spend our money on? Sure, that's a worthy conversation. The Democrats have told you where they stand and what they want to spend their money on, but all you've done is complain. We hear about the Democrats just wanting to spend money, but historically, it's Republicans who go on spending sprees when they're in charge and then turn around and blame the Democrats for the deficit they incurred. The truth of the matter is, Biden has been reducing the deficit and proposing programs to both save and make us money, like funding the IRS to go after the richest tax cheats, which would make us trillions of dollars, or adding 20% minimum income tax on the top one hundredth of 1% of households in America, which would make us hundreds of millions of dollars. But we're not going to get those things that would reduce the deficit or help the American people because the Republicans keep voting against it. We get it. You don't want the rich to have to pay anything. But you're out here complaining about the debt. So what is your proposal? You propose cutting money for children's lunches and Meals on Wheels and health care and programs for the poor? You favor sunsetting Social Security and Medicare and privatizing public education? Well, why don't you write that down? Is it because it's not popular? That you know that if you actually wrote down Republican ideas, people would hate it? It's just easier to point fingers and complain, right? But that's not the job. Show me your budget and I'll show you your priorities. But the budget itself doesn't even affect the fact that we still have to pay our bills. America's out of money. We're literally running on fumes. And Congress is the one with the power of the purse. And after 15 votes, the person in charge of that purse is Kevin. The only person who can defuse this bomb is him. Biden and the Democrats are ready and willing to pay our bills and have proposed their next budget. The audacity of Kevin to say stop playing games when he's the one playing games is absolutely ridiculous. The Republicans have no policy, no plan. They create crisis after crisis so they can complain and blame, but now they are threatening America with economic destruction. They're holding us all hostage and trying to get us on their side while they do it. I'm not even entirely sure House Republicans won't just tank the U.S. economy to spite the Democrats. But if they do that, then we need to be very clear about who did this to us, who's to blame, and who allowed this to happen. You don't fuck around with the faith of U.S. government credit. The president knows that. The Democrats know that. Hell, even the Senate Republicans know that. It's Kevin who's being reckless. And that's what everyone else needs to know.